flow through work function and a calculation of the work function with threshold frequency. Uh, just before I do, a reminder of the photoelectric effect. So a material has electrons on its surface, photons travel from a light source or from some specific source, they're absorbed by the electron. If the electron gains enough energy, then it escapes the surface. Now the minimum amount of energy that it needs to escape the surface from the that it can gain from the photon is what we call the work function. So just to give you a definition, it's the minimum energy needed by the photon which arrives. Oops, sorry. So when the electron absorbs it, it has enough energy to escape the surface. Great. Now something they also like to include in mark schemes is the word exact. So I would just include that as well in the definition. Something like exact minimum energy needed by the photon. Great. Let's go on to using this and I've got a little hint here if you want to have a go at the question yourself but we know e equals hf energy of a photon is Planck's constant given to you in an exam times the frequency now how that relates to work function is work function is the type of energy and we say it's equal to h times the threshold frequency the minimum frequency needed of the photon so that when it approaches the electron the electron gains enough energy to escape rearranging this equation the threshold frequency is the work function divided by Planck's constant. Now, because work function is a form of energy, we have to use it in joules, whereas here it's given in electron volts. So we first convert from electron volts to joules by multiplying by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And then we divide by h, Planck's constant. Again, that's given to you in an exam. Now, when you do this calculation, it will give you the threshold frequency. So I'm just going to quickly do that, but you can skip a few seconds. Right, so it will be 9.33 multiplied by 10 to the power of 15 hertz. Or you can write 3.3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 14 if you want to write in standard form. Hopefully that made sense. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe. And if you have any tutoring inquiries, I've linked my email in the description. Please send me an email. Thanks for watching.